What's going on guys, Seth and Chevy here doing a TLG Reacts for the Xbox Partner preview that happened earlier today, March 2024. We're going to watch it, we're going to talk about it, react to it, all that jazz. We haven't seen it. Um, I got through the day with only seeing one thing from this that I didn't realize it was from this, but now I found out that's what it's from, and so it makes sense. Um, a game that I'm actually a big fan of is coming to console, so that was... Um, interesting to see but uh we'll see that when we see it here uh how you doing and uh, did you get through the day without seeing any spoilers i know it's just a partner preview so i don't expect any big huge highlights but yeah doing pretty good uh trying to keep my energy levels up we uh go to the gym after work and been pushing myself lately and feeling a little wiped out from it but it's for the better good so that's how I've been feeling lately because <laughs> we'll talk about it on uh, the upcoming Tasty Cast. But um, when we're talking about what we've been playing, I purchased um, a pretty premium DDR pad. Yeah. So I've been revisiting uh, a lot of my teen years uh, with that. And with using that and going to the gym, doing like weight training, stuff like that, yeah, I feel uh, physically drained a lot lately, but also really good. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, it's an interesting mix, but I feel it. I uh, also um, I'm feeling a little lethargic right now, but uh, <laughs> I'm excited to watch this because yeah. um, I literally have no idea what they're going to show. And yeah. I don't have any expectations I, either. I caught one thing, but it's not like anything I would consider major because it's like an add on for a game that's already out. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would just ask what it is, but maybe somebody watching wants to go in blind. Sure. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, this is 30 minutes. So you want to just start it and we can. Uh, talk about it afterwards yeah let's do it all right so this is the xbox partner preview march 2024 in three two one and go seems like they're doing a lot of these lately that's honestly probably a good thing oh even if it's not like their games getting people excited for stuff that's coming out is yeah, a yeah. good thing so also gives us opportunities to see games that maybe we uh either forgot about or only saw a teaser of at some point or whatever oh, oh i'm a forgetter no. <laughs> and somebody asked me today about uh, on TikTok about a game that I forgot existed because they showed a teaser of it. And he's like, what do you think about this game? I was like, I forgot about that game. Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? I All I know is that, that it's Sorry. serious. It's more than serious, Solana. This is more sad. It is dangerous. Oh, no. <laughs> I must say, it kind of looks like it, but what is this? It's like Assassin's Creed with um, magic. And an Amco. Interesting. In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. The cycle is starting again. How many more times must we endure the vanity of the nine? That's, I want to say this is not uh, anime enough when to be abandoned. When there isn't a path to be found. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Maybe this is their attempt at making like a Western audience driven game. Because typically when I see Bandit Namco, I assume it's going to be anime, so that's kind of interesting. Confession of what's happening. Yeah, it seems like it. Esper stuff happening. I'm kind of intrigued. You've been here before. Awakening. Countless times, and so shall you be here again. She's Unknown fact, Nine, or she's part of the Unknown Nine, right now. and she's awakening from her powers because it's going to be like a Stranger Things type thing. Um, yeah, I mean, that looked pretty okay. I'm not like sold, but yeah, I'm not blown away, but um, it was more interesting than wield other worldly skills yeah. in the world of Unknown sure. Nine with an in depth developer update on Xbox Wire. That guy talks really low. What the hell's a wire? Everyone's like got studio. an ex-employer they wish they never worked for. Not everyone's ex-employer set them up to take a fall. Just so happens they frame the wrong witch. They call me Lady Luck. And every card I draw is lucky. And when I find out what my old coven is up to, is they better the hope they have a story. Well, he couldn't give a shit less. Hmm. Over there! 
He's here. Not tonight, boys. I want that guy's composure under threat. No kid. No kid just did not give a shit about anything. If the coven wants to play, they'll have to play dirty. Okay, this is some kind of third person oh. stealth sim with cards. Yeah. And it's a noir. I need to see gameplay, but I'm slightly intrigued. Yeah, I hate the way it looks, so. I didn't like their style either, but I like stealth games. Uh oh. I swear of mine, Frostpunk. Uh -oh. I said Frostpunk too. Also, <laughs> their third hard game. Yeah. <laughs> I want them to make another of this for mine. What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? Oh, the Alters tells the story of Yandals, a simple miner who survived all. a crash landing on a hostile planet. I saw the splash on Twitter earlier. He wow. quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job hilarious. opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Yan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, Space the planet ship. Yan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Interesting. This Despite right his alley. best efforts, right Yan alley. simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But the planet Yan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Yan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Alters. This is uh, quite a sci-fi story. Yeah. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Yan's past. The Alters are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions, and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel Incompetence, incoherent decision making, a groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn. What's that I Fallout just hope and, I don't uh, get everything Scrolls up game there. where you just you build want a relationship that lasts? Put uh, some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep uh, everyone I've, I've happy. A, a few PC games. You like gotta learn well. how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. This just reminds me of like these guys played that. They played this war of mine. They played Frostpunk, which would make sense, but they made it. And they watched the cool on the outside. Internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home Death is training. to press forward. Looks cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, that one is probably the, the coolest looking game so far for me. All by myself. That is so uh, funny now that I know the concept of the game. That team is really creative. Yeah. Because Frostpunk's also really creative, and this war mine is like way more investing than it should be. Yeah, for sure. Fortnite. Dauntless. Simulator. 
It's definitely not a game for me, but it is at least interesting looking. But there's like a Pokemon Snap minion puzzle solving music element to it. It's like not. I don't know what's on there. Ghostbuster. Yeah. But the, the gameplay loop looks um, not what I would expect. Yeah. So at least they're trying something you know, interesting here. I could be wrong. Obviously, I haven't played it, but it looks kind of boring to me. Sure. That's definitely not my uh, type of game, but I like uh, that they're doing different shit in it. Learn how Creatures of Ava places you in the role of a savior in the first look preview on Xbox Wire. This whole thing's just trying to get people to go to whatever the fuck Xbox Wire is. It's not good. <laughs> what? What is this? Chucky? Good guys. It's a Chucky game? I like how, like, you <laughs> caught that. I was just like, oh my god, what is this? Is this like Roblox or something? <laughs> Chucky B and Roblox. I don't even know what the fuck this mode is. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. You. Yeah. So you play as Chucky <laughs> against people shooting the shit out of you? I don't know what a grief fill is, but. Let us know in the comments what grief fill it. Oh, okay, it's Roblox. It is Roblox, okay. Still, in the comments, if you have info on that, let me know. I, I have no idea what the fuck I just saw. Pretty good so far. A lot of interesting things. Except for Chucky and Griefville, I don't. That seem ridiculous. Available today. This music is on this. True. Frog wears. Okay. You ain't doing shit shooting like that. Especially with two bullets. What was that? I don't know. He should have saved one for himself. Thanks um, about to get got by a bunch of frogmen. This is definitely not gonna be a me game. This isn't gonna be an anybody game. This dude's high. He's yeah, just running down the street right now. <laughs> in real life. This is what he's seeing. The Sinking City 2. I vaguely remember the Sinking City, but I don't remember it looking like that. Want to dive deeper into this mystery? Discover more about this long-awaited uh, sequel in our Xbox Wire interview. Show me gameplay. Oh, well, you weren't kidding opinion. about them trying to push everyone to that wire thing. My oh, hello, 14. Walk free. And I heard the there are a ton of sprouts right to now. Welcome, Xbox players. It's also the top downloaded free game. Expansion. 
We scions will fight until our last breath. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. This year's gonna be fucked while we're not alone in this, don't you? Um, Darkness and light, despair, and I'm gonna be Grand Lord. As go it one, like a dragon. So go it the other. I'm gonna be infinite. Become while. light. I'm gonna be rebirth. Become I'm gonna be Pompey sixteen. It's gonna happen this year. This is gonna be this year is the year of JRPGs and survival games. I would say I'd beat that, but I don't got that kind of time. Uh, I I would argue you do. <laughs> oh, I like Loki. Want to buy this on PS5 just to see what it's like? What is it? I spaced out there. It's a uh, stalker. It's the stalker trilogy. Even though the first one's not good, one the other. No, wait. One of the one of the two expansions was good, I think. But I fucking love the first stalker game. And it's crazy. It's like finally coming out to console. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, this is what I saw. Okay. But I had no idea it was Xbox related. I just pure like stalkers. All three stalker games are coming out to fucking console. I'm like, that's cool. It's amazing it took this long, but hopefully a bunch of people. I think Clear Sky's the good one. Um, hopefully a bunch of people who never got a chance to play these games will play it because. Fucking awesome. Same as games, it's just one more expansion. Well, on a controller, like I'm sure they got it set up, but I just can't imagine learn how developer GSC console. Game World brought the cult classic Stalker trilogy to Xbox in an exclusive Xbox Wire interview. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I don't know what it is. I'm not doing it. I'll try it when it comes out on PlayStation Plus. Wrong show. I don't know if it's gonna be on Xbox. Imagine if you're like a purely Xbox person watching this. And you're talking about PlayStation Plus. That's oh, That could be fun, actually. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I don't think I'd buy this, but. Yeah, was it so, I was like, I'm immediately I not it. interested, but as I saw more of it, I was like, nah, that could be fun. And every once in a while, I just like, I want like a stupid old school style game. Yeah. It's like the Hot Wheels game is actually fun, for sure. This actually doesn't look like that. Uh, I don't know who the fuck that shark guy is. Just, I don't know anything about just Xbox. Oh, I guess they they don't show other stuff usually. Oh yeah, they they, they don't need to tell you about the other stuff. That's the one I knew.時間や空間に歪みが起きてるんです。この地下にある時の狭間の聖地。まさか同じ一日がずっと繰り返されてるんです。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
I'll try to get to you. That's not on my JRPG list, but I'd like to, I would like to try it. Let's take it through the Final Fantasies. Unfortunately, I only got two of those worried about this year, so... I'm just glad I was able to get a remake knocked out. I'm also glad you are able to do that. Now the only thing left on my list is 14 for you. <laughs> 16. I 16. You could. Got an expansion this year, so I'll be doing that. What, 14? Is that, oh yeah, the shit that does come out this year. Yeah. You need to show something on that. They had three fan fests. We watched videos on it. They didn't show much. Yeah, they did. They showed classes. Or jobs. They will show skills during the... You're do absolutely it. right. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, they do, uh, closer to launch, they do a uh, press tour. Yeah. And they'll do um, more trailers then. Uncover what else the Dark Hour has in Xbox store Wire. for Game Pass members this year on Xbox Wire. Man, I love them with it. Uh, yeah, they also have Metaphor they put up on Steam, so you can watch them instead. That's the other game we're making. Oh. No big bangers, but pretty solid lineup of games they're showing here. I, mean, I guess you could argue 14 is a big banger, but what I mean by that is, you know, new crazy games, must plays, DNF, Dungeon Fighter. This fucking right, game. Right, 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 right. I forgot about this game. I think it's funny that DNF and Grand Blue were like, let's take our universe and make new games. Let's just make any game we want. Yeah. Let's we'll use something in our so universe. There's so many characters in the universe already. Yeah, because Grand Blue. Not old. I mean, it might be, but I'm saying, like, it gets around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The amount of Grand Blue games I've played that have pulled in different kinds of games in the wild. Yeah. This looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does. For sure. Yeah. This is a Souls like anime game. It seems. I'm not seeing bonfires here, but. Obviously, it's hard to tell without like, playing it, but it doesn't look super stiff either, which is nice. Yeah, I'm actually impressed with um, how smooth the animations and combat looks. Yeah. This is called. I remember seeing it when they first announced it. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Man, I love these people who do like old school, like. Why was this a gotcha? But this is an old like, MMO game. Um, just like going, eh, let's use the brand. Press Berserker Kazan. I mean, that looks cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, dude, I played Dungeon Fighter way Kaluka, back in the fucking day on uh, Nexon. Hear my plea. Yeah. And it's why, so Zhao, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. Tales of Kinzera Zhao takes you on a journey through a land enriched with myth and legend, but torn apart by so illness this, and tragedy. Uh, Grief is ever present here, from Persia, the arid yeah. deadlands, a harsh and unforgiving terrain, to the dense and dangerous forest floor of the woodlands. I wish a place I could get excited about the mystery and fear. Man. In your arsenal, you Which carry so your late weird. father's masks. It's always weird to say that because, like, like best for crowd control, anyone our age the, the sun, platform was chaotic like, ballet that compels you to engage spirits in melee combat. Sometimes I really like to. The Mask of the Sun. Uh, you must embrace cells, the Dance of the Shaman. Each ability gained by the player can be used both traversally as well as in the fray of combat. Rogue Legacy. For example, take Akita's Spear. Not only can it be used to activate yeah, elements that are out of really reach, really but also engage and pierce through multiple enemies at once. And with each small victory along your journey, you will grow and better yourself, obtaining powers and tools that allow you to turn the tides of battle in your favor. The way you took that Rojo out was amazing! You 
should not sneak up on people, young shaman. We are shamans. Healers in a land long past healing. The complexities of grief inspired the foundations as well to come together. You will be faced with intricate puzzles and arduous obstacles and deceptive traps that demand both patience and skill to overcome. Yeah, I don't think that's what I'm saying. 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 Mercy is a rare flower that blooms in the lands of Kinzera. But you can do this. I know you can. Hmm. Like how EA basically survives on like indie devs. Any established property they have. I didn't play the first one. I wanted it's, to. It's cool. Maybe it's on time. It looked like something I'd like. Though. I don't know if that's what this is, but I thought it was because it said 11 bit, which I think is the same people. I think it's like the third thing they've shown us. They were on a different level over there, too. It's just called the 11 bit showcase. They're crazy. Kind of cool visual style for sure. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that looks way um, more robust than the original game. I mean, I just punched my sweat. Fingies. The name of this game. Is that Capcom game so. we saw that one time? The one I was very sold on. Yeah. The only thing about it, well, if this is that game, um, I wasn't super impressed like the graphics, and this looks a lot cleaner. Yep. Announced here, why wouldn't be, but uh, Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC. Uh, it's sad that I'm tempted to play it again. Same, it's also a rumor that the second one's gonna get shown off this year, yeah, which uh, I hope is true. This looks a lot more interesting this time around. That's just showing gameplay and not like reduced uh, trailer. Yeah. It's interesting. You fight the villagers. Got a little uh there's a pigment. And it probably That uh, overboard game was what it's called. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, little yeah. goblins were there. This is a huge improvement. Like, um, I'm not like super hyped, but I am interested. In it. I remember when we first saw it, I was like, "That's Capcom." I think it's gross. Yeah. It's like a 
centipede wasp thing. There was a lot of like shrine, like maiden st type stuff in there too, which was kind of interesting. Yeah. Learn how Knitsugami Path of the Goddess mixes action and oh, real time Xbox strategy Wire. in an exclusive Xbox Wire piece. Is that it? Yeah, I think they have 14 total to show off. Yep. Final Fantasy 14 had to be a part of that. Well, that was actually going pretty quick. Yeah. I thought I was going to say, join us on Xbox Wire. I was waiting for it. All right. Well, uh, what did we think? Um, so, I mean, overall, like pacing wise, I thought it was really good. And, uh, the only like nitpick I have is the constant reminding of their, their other, um, you know, avenue. They want you to go visit, to go check out these interviews, which I understand they got to advertise, but I feel like they could have done it at the beginning of the end and called it good. Xbox kind of goes, um, not to be too critical of them in terms of this, but they go kind of scorched earth on advertising. Yeah, because uh, whether it's like every event ever, there's like six or seven Xbox splash reels uh, or um, that one. I forgot what I, maybe it was um, during one of the summer E3 things, but every single game constantly. Phil Spencer's like day one on Game Pass, day one on right, Game right. Pass, day one on Game Pass, which is great for Game Pass. But it's just constant. Boom, boom, boom. Day one on Game Pass. Well, especially if you're um, like hypersensitive to advertising, like yeah. it, it's obnoxious. So. Yeah. And in my brain, like I'm just like, this isn't I mean, yeah. I see the value, but like Jesus Christ, just put it on the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Visually. And then here, Xbox Wire, Xbox Wire. And I'll never forget that. So it worked, I guess. I'm not going to go check it out, but. Uh, I, I know that name now. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. But outside of that nitpick, um, there was definitely some interesting stuff, uh, even for me, which was nice. Uh, Unknown nine was uh, somewhat intriguing. I'm not like sold yet, but I am curious to see where that goes. Uh, the altars look super interesting. I'm pretty, pretty, um, curious on that one. And then, uh, I am so excited that, uh, final fantasy 14 gets, uh, an even bigger community now and that Xbox yeah, awesome. gets to join. Um, I, yeah, it, it's awesome. So welcome. Uh, hopefully people are being helpful to you if you need it. I'm sure they are. Uh, the monster jam game, honestly, I'm kind of interested. Uh, you know, it's not something I'd buy. So I am hoping it comes to PlayStation and PlayStation, uh, plus, but if not, you know, maybe it'll come out on PC and it'll be cheap and I'll, you know, pick it up or something beyond game pass at one of the times you might have that activated. Yeah. Uh, I plan on picking up persona three at some point and then having an expansion pass with like three add ons is pretty awesome. So, um, I'd probably just buy an ultimate edition at that point. And first berserker, uh, Cosm looks really cool as well. Oh, and Frostpunk. So there's a couple things here for sure that I, like look interesting to me. Um, the rest of it, uh, Though not necessarily at my alley, I thought were also a lot of interesting things. The one, the only one that really just does absolutely nothing for me is Roblox. So, uh, but I think I'm too old for that. So, yeah, I still don't fully know what Roblox is. I know it's like you can make whatever, but mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who plays Roblox. I've never seen anybody play Roblox. I I know nothing about it. So, yeah, um, yeah no shade. I don't know shit about it. So. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't want to sound like one of those people who just talks shit, shit about Fortnite because um, it's obviously popular and yeah, uh, it's well supported. So, um, yeah, anything else? Oh. So pretty much I thought everything here was interesting to a certain extent, except for um, the Roblox thing did nothing for me. Um, it was even after finding out it was Roblox, I was confused on why it's just a game mode where people shoot Chucky. I okay. Uh, Roblox, Roblox X, Grief Feel X, Chucky. Yeah, like, there's so much uh, going on there. There's yeah, it was, it, I'm sure if you're a Roblox person, that there's info there for you. But yeah. for me, it was just like I don't get it. Um, Sinking City Two, that teaser didn't do much for me either. Um, I vaguely remember the original one, but 
that didn't do anything for me at all. That's not positive, negative. It's just, it's might as well have not been shown for me. Um, it's cool to see Final Fantasy 14. I forgot that came out on Xbox, so that is cool. Um, I'm really stoked about Stalker on console. I mean, it's it's a long time coming. Like, it's, that game's been out forever. I love it. They said it's called Classic, which I guess technically it is, but th- there's some people who didn't play it because it's only on PC. So, um, here's a recommendation. If you've never played Stalker because of that reason, you should check it out if you like first person shooters because it's, it's awesome. Um, yeah, Monster Jam Showdown was actually kind of interesting looking, which was weird. Um, I have no affinity for monster monster trucks, but uh, the gameplay looked like a competent like arcade uh, racer slash, you know, there's like stun stuff they're doing. It's, you know, could be cool. Um, Unknown 9 was actually more intriguing than I feel like a game like that should have been. So mm-hmm. that was cool. Sleight of Hand. I'm curious about, I need to see gameplay, but I agree. I don't think the art style was very good, but the whole noir aesthetic and saying it was like a stealth game and you're using cards. Um, yeah, that sounds interesting to me. Mr. Balls of Steel. Yeah. Yeah. I guess didn't care about anything. Um, the altars I thought looked really cool. Um, it definitely seems like something that those guys would make yeah. because it's uh, part exploration survival game, part uh, micromanaging, uh, building um, a town type game so uh, definitely makes sense but um, the sci-fi in it was like pretty out there yeah pretty creative definitely. so especially with the whole cloning yourself thing with different personalities that's really neat sounding Someone, so someone's imagination was out there yeah so. they really kind of went off with it so um I, i'm definitely interested in that uh creatures of eva i actually like i said when we watched it um thinks i think it looks pretty unique and interesting in terms of like what you're doing in the gameplay without me knowing fully what you do in it. Uh, you know, if there's like, um, ghostbusters type stuff, music <laughs> stuff, capturing <laughs> Pokemon and Pokemon snap stuff. So that's interesting. The art style didn't do much for me, but, um, I would be curious to see what people say about it when it comes out. Um, something I don't got time for, but it looks cool. Uh, first berserker looks pretty cool Mm -hmm. especially for just like dungeon fighter game like um it could like have nothing to do with dungeon fighter and i'd be like you know that just looks like a legit anime dark souls game that looks pretty cool so definitely keeping my eye on that tales of kenzera zao um not my kind of game but uh looks competent hopefully hopefully it does well um frostbuck 2 really excited to play it i like the first game i like the other games they've made or uh this weren't mine um, so definitely excited for that. And then uh, a little redeeming uh, of uh, Kunitsu, Kunitsugami uh, Path of the Goddess, because the first time they showed that off, I forgot what event that was. Um, I was slightly intrigued, but I thought it looked kind of bad visually. I thought the animations didn't look that great. I thought it looked kind of grainy. So seeing it here, just a lot of gameplay, seeing that pretty much all my early criticisms of it, uh, kind of got pushed to the side. Looks a lot cleaner. Looks like it's playing smoother. Just a much better trailer. Um, definitely has piqued my interest. Not super hyped, but I'm I'm curious about it now. So that's an improvement. Um, so yeah, overall, this was a super solid Xbox partner preview. Um, pacing was perfect. I, pff, I didn't even think about time. So that's a, a plus. And a really, really good variety of games they showed off here. Even the stupid Roblox grief fill Chucky thing. Um, so yeah, I would probably give this presentation a B plus. I think it was really solid. No huge bangers, but solid across the board. Interesting games to show off. Games I feel like that were worth showing off in a way that for the most part was good outside of the sinking city too. I mean, that's definitely for people who played the first one know what that is and are excited for a sequel. But for me, that did nothing for me. So, um, yeah, really, a really good little presentation. Uh, 30 minutes went really fast. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I'm going to be in a similar boat, but I'm going to say a B, I would give it a B plus, but I got really sick of hearing about the wire. So, um, (laughs) They're getting docked. For okay, that that's fair. Because it's part of the presentation. Me out of the presentation, yeah. Yep. Uh, but yeah, B. Especially tonally, the dude's just like, "This is a new game coming out, and you can go and check it yeah, out." Yeah, I'm pretty right? emotional, so I feel like I could have given more emotion so. on Xbox Wire. It's like it's 
up your decibel a bit, man. Fuck, I can't hear you. Um, yeah, so B, B plus. Yep. Good presentation. Definitely didn't feel like, I was kind of worried going into this because I was like, what are, they, what are they gonna show? And I don't, I feel good about watching it. So yeah, um, yeah. anything else? I think that'll do it. All right, let us know in the comments what you guys think of this Xbox partner preview. What were some of the highlights? What games are you looking forward to? What games maybe look bad to you? Um, maybe you know something about some of these games that we don't know. You want to share your thoughts on it. Um, if you played The Sinking City 1, is this a game that I should be paying attention to and looking forward to? Um, what do you think about this Alters game? And uh, are you excited for Frostpunk 2? Um, if you play Roblox, enlighten us. Give me... Give me all the info you know about it, enlighten him how to interpret <laughs> what I saw when I came to that Chucky paintball game, whatever the fuck that was. Um, but yeah, uh, last night I think think about the comments below when it comes to all of this. Uh, I've been Seth. This has been Chevy. Stay tuned. We've got a taste cast coming up soon. We'll be doing all the early month stuff, talking about game releases, reading your comments. Uh, there's a Dune uh, gameplay trailer I that I want to see that we're going to watch for taste cast. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, until the next one, have a good one, guys, and take it easy.